I'm Richie Unterberger. I've taught at Ali San Francisco State for a few years, and my specialty is rock music history from the first 25 years or so of rock, from the mid-50s until the early 80s, and especially the 1960s, in part because that was such a big era for rock music here in San Francisco. I've been a big fan of rock music since I was five years old. That's 1967, so you can calculate my age based on that math. And the first record I bought when I was seven was the Beatles' Hey Jude, which when I got it home, I realized it had revolution on the other side. So that's a great record to begin with. So like a lot of people, I started as a big Beatles fan. I got every record I could, but when I got to the end of the Beatles, I wanted to hear more from their time and other times in rock history. So that led me into many other groups from the Rolling Stones and Beach Boys on down and then into lesser known groups. And then I wanted not just to play the records but to learn about the history. And after I'd read as much as I could, I wanted to write about the history. I've written about a dozen books on these very subjects. And I've interviewed hundreds of people from this time. And sometimes I talk about stories that I've learned from people like Roger McGuinn of the Birds or Judy Collins or Donovan in my conversations. But what I really like to do in my courses is play video clips of these performers during the time so you can see them in action and get a real sense for how they sounded and how they looked and how I think they changed not just music but popular culture. Where else are you going to see Dick Clark from American Bandstand interviewing Jefferson Airplane and Grace Slick forgetting Paul Kantner's name, although he would become the father of her only child. Those are the things that I really like to play in my class and spark discussion, not just about how, what you might remember if you were around at the time of this music, but the impact that this had at the time when things were changing so radically in music and also the culture that was surrounding the music. I also play a lot of rare audio clips and I show slides of pictures from the time and it's always mind-blowing to me every time I do these courses how much change was compressed into just a few years in the time that we examine whether it's the Beatles or Jefferson Airplane or Aretha Franklin or many of the other artists that I focus on you can learn about this music no matter what your prior interest or expertise in the subject was. Because I think even if you know a lot about this time and these musicians, you'll come across some video clips, some rare recordings maybe you haven't heard and seen before, but also I hope you can make some connections to influences that they had and how they influenced some other people and their entire times that might not have come to mind before. And that will come up, I hope, not just in what I discuss, but what the whole class discusses, because a lot of the students live through these times and have thought about it and continue to listen to this music. So I hope that generates some thoughts that you might have had about this music and these times that maybe haven't occurred to you before.